When I first came to Paula Masi Children's Home, I was wowed by the love, energy and happiness around. Children as young as one year live here and it feels more than home to them. This home is a beehive of activities as everyone is engaged in different activities. My name is Yan Msula. I came here to teach. Ukapa nimefurahi kukapa sana na na naombea mama mama Paula akuwe na masharifu sana. My name is Jessica. I came in this home in 2018. I love staying in this home because our mama Paula take care of us so very much. Whenever we ask her anything, he give unto us. I just love our mom so much. We love I was eager to meet Mama Paula as the children here seemed to love her so much. So I met Mama Paula, a humble down-to-earth middle-aged woman, and I was shocked to see that she is disabled. Her body is paralyzed waist downwards. It was emotional for me to see such a vulnerable person taking care of other people. Uh, my name is Baby Paula Mwangi. I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior. I'm the founder of Paura Massa Children's Home. I, I'm a mother of two. I, I help that children who are in Paura Massa Children who uh, are res residential and there are more like that who are out I reach them outside there and I help them when they are there. Uh, what made me put a children's home is because I was born normal, but I got sick in the year 2006, and I paralyzed on the left side. And in fact, I was later uh, diagnosed with a cyst, and uh, I was operated on the spine. And now that's why I'm on a wheelchair. So in the, that time I was in Kenyatta, in fact I nearly died. And I felt if I could have died, my children would be orphans. So when I got the chance of getting children who are orphans, I opted to serve them for the rest of my life. And I vowed to God that he, because I had lost memory, if he restores my mind, I'll serve the, the orphans or the vulnerable for the rest of my life. And that's why I started Children's Home. But at first, I taught children who are from Jesus Helpers Children's Home for the last six years. And I started this Children's Home uh, 2018 during my birthday because I value my birthday. Paura Masi. Paura is me and Masi is that act of Masi. And there is something I felt also that the, the people who have problem, uh, uh, they, they pass a lot of stigma, they don't get rough. Because I had also experienced that because when I got sick, my, my husband uh, said he is not in need of a, a rotten person and me I declared I'm not rotten. So I could feel if an vulnerable children, the orphans, everyone who is suffering, uh, they are uh, those who are suffering from AIDS, uh, they don't get rough. So I offered to give one thing to give rough to the vulnerable children and even to also to give quality education to the to, to the vulnerable children. So I first started teaching. I opened a small school, I rented a house. And the first child that I got was a vulnerable, very vulnerable because he was disabled. And he had stayed until 2012, he had not gone to school and he had not worked. So I received that boy from Jesus Help as children home. And, and when I stayed with the boy, I showed him love and I cared for him. I taught him to write. And in fact, he was a very bright boy. And he, he in fact, 
later he walked and now he's in Krasin. So I felt love is very important and that is why I'm compassionate on giving love and giving quality education. It is the same thing that I'm doing here, giving quality education to the children that is, are in Paura Masi Children's Home and even giving them love. Um, they are ever, ever next to me. What goes in here, just like there you say, you heard me say that uh, I felt that the, the children in children's home should live like like rich people. I don't like them rich, living like uh, poor people. Uh, and just like the way you heard that I had lost memory and God restored my memory in the year 2007 on October. So what I operate on is mind because God restored my mind in a very unique way. So I work with my mind and I'm very sharp to work like a rich person. I work so much on talents because I'm also talented. I'm a teacher, I'm a motivational speaker, I'm a mother, uh, I'm a mentor. So I felt like, like especially the year 2020 when we had Corona last year is when I was able to understand these children well. So I realized their talents. So there is that one who has already recorded music, he is a musician, so he, he, is, he has recorded his music. There is a DJ here, uh, there is that one I've taken for driving, he is riding, he is using motorbike. There are those ones who, do, they do also modeling, uh, they do football. So all those things I've tried, all those talents I've tried to work on them. Yeah, and and I'm also we are also doing projects here. We are doing projects like uh, we have uh, pigs, we have chicken. Uh, so they slaughter chicken and eat meat. We have rabbits. I also train them to be business people uh, because they have to have breakfast. So I told them you have to cook, man, uh, cook mandazi and sell them there. So I feel, I know I cannot live for wrong. Maybe everybody has to die. So I, I mentor them to be responsible. So I tell them you have to go, you wake up in the morning, you sell. We get money because not everybody is able to give us money and we need money. So they sell and the rest they eat. They also pick. Every time we have a, a bad day, a child has a bad day, so we have to have a cake. And we cannot be buying every time a cake. So we bake. But we bake with, with fire. We need a, a, an oven to bake that cake. And even they can bake and start uh, selling to the in the shops, they can decorate and take to the shops, but we have a shortage, we don't have an oven. If anyone can be able to buy for us an oven, we can appreciate. We also have gas, we sell gas, since we also use Meko. So there are those who, who sell gas and they commute to the buyer using a uh, motorbike. We also have a, a baba machine and we feel that we can use, we, they, they shave the children here and we feel we, if we, someone can contact us, we can do mobile uh, barbering. Uh, and also we have a saloon, we have uh, the one who has trained to be a, a saloonist. So she's the one who makes the hairs for the children here and even my hair and if we also we can also do mobile uh, hair dressing but if God wishes if we can get a shop we can get we can start that business of hair maybe shaving the hair and all the all the things in the salon but for now we only have a machine for shaving and even a broad drive. I live a selfless life. 
I don't have anything that I've kept in my bank. Anything you give me, anyone who shares something, I do it. It is child-centered because God called me for that. Uh, being a teacher, I value education so much. Yeah, so, and my main vision is to give quality education. And therefore, the children who stay here, those in primary school, are uh, going to, uh, go to uh, private schools and there are those in outreach have taken them to the public primary school uh, called Odil Primary School uh, there are those who, in, who are in secondary and those in secondary because at least because of the challenges they had some of them are uh, have many years so this year I started tutorial adult class uh, I, did, I, I contacted the Church and High School that they do online running. Just even like this time, people are not running them, they are da doing their running. They run in the morning and even in the evening uh, online through Zoom. Uh, and I feel that they can perform very well. So by next year, they will be doing exam. Uh, they, they will be doing exam. We have five students who are running online here. Uh, they still do some other extra things. They go for driving when they have time. There are those who are doing the project of uh, artificial fish freeze. There are two who are doing that. Uh, they run when they are free. They are fully engaged. I feel that they should be very, very much uh, engaged. Even the, the, the young children, they are running computer this time that they have not gone back to school i've looked for a teacher they are running i'm also engaging them in learning about themselves knowing that, like yesterday we had uh, a class of team building and even knowing themselves uh, so that they can be able to run all those projects and accept themselves so i value education so much and i believe they will go far i believe even they will do next year after they finish they go to run international. The challenges that we have here, they are a bit many because uh, just like the way I said, I leased this land. Uh, and the agreement was 10 years and we have been here for the last 8 years. So it is, the, the lease agreement is getting finished, we are supposed to vacate. And therefore, uh, the land we need a rad. We need another place because we have a vision of building different children's homes, school, uh, rescue center, even a church, uh, and also prayer center. Those are our visions. Uh, we are just fearing we might be told to vacate, and yet we don't have a rad. Even this rad here, we cannot buy here because the rad is here. So when the, it rains, the water floods everywhere. Even children who are running here online, they cannot be able to run. Uh, even it becomes very muddy, the, the children fall. Like me, I cannot come out of the house because now uh, the, it is flooding. Uh, even the water gets in the kitchen, in, in the pottery house, in the mekos. So it is ever messy when it is raining, but it's what I had to have because you have to start somewhere. So we really wish we could, if we could have a, a, a rad and even the, the, the construction, the buildings that we need. Uh, we, I, we also have the challenge of getting finances. Just like the, you can see, I cannot come out from here. So unless you know and then you tell somebody, we get destiny help us. I am not able even to move anywhere to go because even I have no car. So I cannot, the motorbike, is, so when I am using the motorbike, I have to be tied because the legs jack and they can fall. So I have to be tied and it is very risky because if you fall and the, the motorbike, because even I don't have balance, I have to have somebody holding here because the operation, there was that operation of the spine. So anytime I can mix the driver to fall, and when it fall the legs, so I still have, I have phobia of using that motorbike, and I have no car. If someone can be able to 
uh, help us with the car. And even I don't go to school, to, to the schools to see the meetings. I don't go for the meetings. And I'm the everything, I'm, I'm the, the one who is supposed to go. So at times I'm able, only able to communicate through the phone. For my health, <laughs> it's a bit delicate because now the situation, I think the way I'm getting older, when the situation is getting older. So I have to use pampas. Here it is. It, it, it has to be a pant. And these pants are very expensive, which I'm not able to meet the cost. Uh, and also, uh, I have to be lifted to sit on the commode. Now you can see my commode, it's not very good. It, I need a better commode because the moment I sit here, as I bathe and help myself, my legs get swollen. You can see the legs are swollen. Yeah, because I'm bending, it's not very comfortable. The legs are getting, especially the left side, which is paralyzed. So uh, I have to be lifted. I have to have an, a, a nurse care who has to be with me all the time. I help myself here. I pour in this toilet. Yeah, and then the helper helps me to clean the toilet. So I need money to pay the helper. I need money to buy, buy pampas. I need a better commode. Uh, I also need a uh, frequent checkup. This is Carol. She takes care of Mama Paula and helps around the home. She does cooking for the kids, laundry work, and general cleaning. Even the condition of the rooms, I wish God can give us somewhere and give us better buildings. Because in my room, it is the store. It has a toilet. It has a bedroom. It has a table room. It is where we pray. <laughs> karibuni, karibuni, this is girls room. As you can see, it's so beautiful, but the space is so small. As you can see in this, on this bed, we sleep four people in one bed. But if we could find a big a big space, we could be happy. Thank you. Karibuni, Paula Masi children. So, upon the boys on the langa. As you can see, upon space in Dogo San, na na langa kila mtu kitanda kila langa wana kila kitanda. Yeah, because this one I did, but you people, you can help me because I've already started. Now I started and I've shown you I can be able to do something. There are the challenges. Some of the children need mentorship. Uh, and like now they are big boys, they are big girls. Yeah, they need a change, not only hearing from me. So if you are there, a mentor, and somebody, you can come in. We need mentors, and we need people who can do them counseling, so that they can be responsible people, and see there are people who can do great things. Mm. Finally, I want to tell you that this place is an altar. I surrendered all my property. And in fact, we have built an altar there because I'm a pastor. And I invite all, uh, any other pastor who can come to preach for us. There is an altar there I've made for God because this is a Godly. It is God who started this work and he has come to complete. So if you want to put something in this altar, because this is not my property, you can contact me in 0726. 688-348. It will bring Beth Mwangi. 0726-688-348. You can check on us in Facebook, Power Massey Children's Home. Uh, YouTube, the same, Power Massey Children's Home. Website, Power Massey Children's Home. Uh, we have a, a PB734-544, the letter Oped of Fission Group. So because when you Put something here, we are, you are in love with us. That is why I called it Upendo. 
uh, anything else you want to give here is appreciated be it 20 bob you can put a bit anything just like there you give in the chat that is why it has an altar a ministry called paura Masse ministry that is our church and you are most welcome god loves you and he loves you too <laughs> Since we are we are consuming fire because we, we love God and we possess God. So, kila kitu kibaya kinakuja, kinakuwa consumed and we remain steady. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, with us now and forevermore. Amen. My visit at Paula Masi Children's Home has been a wonderful experience, and meeting Mama Paula and hearing her story was mind-blowing. Indeed, Mama Paula is an unsung hero. <laughs>